guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down at the North American In-Water Powerboat Show at Cedar Point Marina right here in Sandusky, Ohio, and I love this show. By far one of my favorite shows throughout the course of the whole year. So while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around. I'm looking for some fun and exciting things to report to you guys on, and I ran across our friends over at Marine Right Limited. This is fantastic, guys. I'm here with Tim. Tim, how are you, sir? Kyle. Eric. Yeah, absolutely. Glad to meet you. And Blake? Always a pleasure, my yeah. man. So tell me, guys, a little bit, um, Tim, why don't you start off? Tell me a little bit about Marine Right and what do you guys do? We are electrical and electronics uh, installers. We also design systems. Okay. Um, we sell uh, Garmin, Raymarine, Furuno, Simrad, B&G. Yeah. Okay. Um, we install radar, communication systems, uh, you know, chart plotters, autopilots, just basically the whole array of um, marine electronics. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that is, uh, differentiates us um, from most of our competitors is that we are um, competent in AC and DC power distribution. Oh, nice. Um, which is something that we see um, as an exception in, the, in our industry. Mm -hmm. Most people can kind of They'll search out and find a source for 12 volts and kind of use that. Mm -hmm. Whereas we look at the existing system when we approach a boat mm -hmm. and say, is this adequate to for these additional loads or should we recommend putting in some additional panels or whatever, then we size everything correctly. Um, the other thing that's uh, uh, that separates us from our competition is we provide engineering drawings for everything. Um, we are ABYC uh, members. Um, I'm an ABYC certified electrical. Okay. Um, I am also uh, NMEA advanced uh, installer. So the National Marine Electronics Association sets the standards for electronics installations. The ABYC for sets the standards for um, everything associated with boats, from the mechanical to electrical. Uh, so we follow those those standards. We uh, label. Uh, and identify all the circuits that we add to a boat. We document that. We provide uh, drawings to our customers so that they basically have a document uh, package that's equivalent to or better than what they get in a new boat. Gotcha. So those are some things that are a bit different about our business. Blake, this is a pretty serious guy. <laughs> yeah. This is a guy I want on my yeah. team right here. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, he knows yeah. it from A to Z, brother. Where are you guys located? What areas do you service with Marine Right Limited? Oh, uh, we're out of Vermilion. Okay. And we go as far as Menor to Fort Quinn. Oh, nice. Okay. Not do you have multiple Menor. locations or one storefront there in uh, Vermilion? Do you have a storefront or how does that work? There's currently no storefront. Okay. Okay. But so you service that area from yeah. Menor to Vermilion. Yep. Which, gosh, Tim, that's got to be hundreds of thousands of boats. I mean, the Ohio coast, almost all the boaters here are up there in that region. There are a lot of boats here. Um, there's more business than than we can handle. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going to call you guys, make sure that you schedule it out a little bit. Absolutely. That's uh, and so thing. our business is like most other people. The winter time is when we focus on projects. Yeah. The summer is mainly service work, small projects, but only small because we can't afford to be too tied up where we can't get away to service our existing yeah. customer base. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Blake, you guys uh, have been doing this for some time now. I understand about 12 years, is that correct? Yeah, Tim's done it most of the time. I've been doing it for about four years. Okay, so you're so. kind of a newbie to the thing. Yeah. Tell me, what do you think, man? I mean, electronics here in the Ohio market, the products you're carrying, what's your impression of this? Oh, I think it's great. Yeah? Yeah, not a lot of people specialize in this. And yeah. I mean, we can jump right in and we can totally rewire an old boat and make it the way you want it to be. I love so. it. Yeah, I think to add to that, we have, um, we've done five total refits, electrical refits on boats in the 40 plus foot range. Oh, wow. Our typical, our range of boats, our typical market is 30 to 50 feet. Okay. Um, another thing, uh, Blake uh, has an associate degree in electronics, mm -hmm. um, and I'm a degreed electrical engineer. Okay. So we, uh, so we have good technical backgrounds, um, and we do a good job, and we're, uh, um, authorized installers for Raymarine and Garmin. You'll see us at their website. You'll also see our, us listed at uh, Blue Sea Systems because they yeah. provide uh, you know, the electrical systems, DC and AC systems. 
Uh, so we get a lot of referrals from those. So tell me, uh, Tim, if I'm not able to make it down to the Cedar Point Boat Show, where am I going to go online to find out how to get in touch with you guys, um, how to schedule a service to come out? Because it mm -hmm. sounds like if I have any electrical issues with my boat, you guys are the guys to call. Where? Or you guys are guys to go to see. So how do I get in touch with you? Uh, MarineRight.com okay. is our website. And there you'd be able to find uh, telephone numbers, contact information. You could email us or okay. call. Okay. And uh, then... We'll schedule something as quickly as we can. Love yeah. it. Blake, how far back out are you guys right now? I mean, I've talked to guys that are six, eight weeks backed up right now. If I got a new project that I want you to do this winter, how long is it going to take me to get it done? Well, it's over the winter time. We can do it, no problem. <laughs> All right, so I need it as quick as I can. When can you get to it? What, what, what's your time range right now? Because... I mean, guys, the boating industry right now is on all, all uh, eight cylinders. It depends I mean, the scope of the project. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So, so if it's a small thing, you might if be it's smaller, to it we can probably get to it faster. Okay, something large. Something we, we normally don't get into projects this uh, early in the off season, if you want to call it that. Yeah. But in September right now, we have instead of we're starting three major projects. Okay. So we normally don't do that till October, November. Yeah. So to answer your question. We're really, we have open slots yet in uh, January and February, Good. but we're looking to fill those and expect to. Yeah, just as long as you get it done by April 1st, which is when everybody wants everything Correct. done. Correct, that's right. And they'll usually call you on March 30th to make sure it's done by April 1st. Yeah, well, the people that call on March 30th yes. and with a new project may be a little bit late. <laughs> yeah, <though>. maybe June. <laughs> yeah. Blake, thank you so yep. much. Guys, I greatly appreciate it. Right. The website again? MarineRight.com. MarineRight.com, guys. That's where you want to go. Check out everything that they have to offer online. Mm -hmm. Top shelf electricians for your boat. I thank you so much for your time today, guys. We'll see you out on the water. Take care.